Okay? So again, for this lesson, we'll be uh, discussing the causes of plate movement. So, okay, I have here an illustration of the Earth's interior. So that is to uh, illustrate kung ano yung mga process okay, na nangyayari for the plate movement and what causes this plate movement. So, so start with, of course, syempre alam natin that we have your uh, core as the very main source of heat or the energy that causes yung pinaka movement ng Earth. So si core natin, being it is composed of uh, minerals such as uh, silicates, okay, yung mga iron materials natin, okay, so ito yung mga heavy metals natin, they are compacted and being pressured, okay, doon sa pinaka-core or pinaka-gitna ng ating Earth's interior. So with this, yung interaction ng metals na to, okay, so siya yung nagpo-produce ng heat. Okay, so and then this heat actually allows, okay, yung melting ng mga materials that is, of course, near the core. So dito, yung mga materials or uh, technically these are rocks, okay, which are closest to the core, heavier the core, that is providing yung heat natin that uh, melts, okay, again, the materials that is nearest to the core. So itong mga materials na natin dito or the rocks are actually being melted by the heat from the core. Okay, so sila yung una na na nahi-heat up, itong pinakamalapit sa core. And then what happens is that when, once these materials, like any materials, once na sila ay nahi-heat, aside from being melted, okay, uh, it is characterized to be uh, less dense. Okay, so nagiging less dense. Pag sabi pong nagiging less dense, mas gumagaan ngayon itong mga materials natin. So since sila ay gumagaan, what would happen to these materials is that they have the tendency of moving upwards. Okay? So, magmumove siya upwards. So, in that case, etong ating uh, uh, rocks, molten rocks that is near from the, uh, near the core will now move upwards the mantle. So, tataas siya doon sa mantle. Okay? Continuously, so ganun din pagdating dito sa asthenosphere natin, itong darker na orange. Okay? So, yung mga materials natin, tuloy-tuloy siya. So, the uh, less dense and the molten rocks will now rise up, okay, towards the asthenosphere of our uh, Earth. Okay, so ganun yung nangyayari sa kanya. And then what happens is that yung mga cool or cold natin or uh, cooler uh, rock materials will now be pushed down. Siya naman, yung mga nandito naman sa taas na hindi siya molten and then cooler rocks will be pushed down. So sila naman yung pupunta dito. Pagdating nila dito, pababa, iinit na ulit siya. Mamamolten na rin siya, tapos yung mga umakyat na, na molten rocks dito will now be cooler. So what happens is that you have here a circular motion. Parang nagkakaroon ka dito ng circulation ng rock materials. And this is what we call your convection. Okay? Convection na yung tawag natin doon sa pag-ikot. And that happens uh, in every part okay, of the mantle towards your Itong black natin na line dito would be the crust. Okay? So what happens is kung continuous yung pag-ikot, so dito may mga umiikot na rock materials, dito meron ding umiikot na rock materials, okay, and so on, and so forth. So ganun yung nangyayari sa kanya. What happens to this, uh, what makes, uh, uh, what uh, allows, okay, or what is being allowed by this circul uh, circulation or circular movement is that yung mga crust natin, yung crust natin are actually being broken. So, uh, napuputol yung mga crust natin or nabibitak dito. So, that is where your uh, ridges are actually formed. Okay? May mga napuputol tayo na uh, crust dyan. So, what happens kung maputol siya, okay, another thing that actually happens is that your, yung mga molten rocks that is coming from the mantle, they actually move out uh, pagta natin yung kulay. Uh, Nagmumove out siya doon sa ating um, out of this ridges. So, pag nagmove out siya, this actually forms a new layer of the crust. Nakikita niyo ba yung green? So, yung mga molten rocks na lumabas, so, magpo-flow siya out of those ridges. Okay? And then forms a new layer of the crust. Tuloy-tuloy yun. 
Tapos, what happens kung siyempre napatungan nito ng panibagong layer ng crust, tama? So, what can you say about uh, the weight now of this crust? So, ano na yung magiging weight nito or yung bigat nitong crust na ito? Anyone? Ano yung mangyayari with the weight? Since ito, o kumpara natin dito sa weight nitong uh, plate na ito, can you see my, ano, my pointer? Ito na yung bag, ito yung uh, isang plate that is napatungan na siya ng bagong layer ng crust. Ito yung kaninang plate na isa pa, na isang piraso. How can you compare the weight of this two? Again, how can you compare? So, ito, nadagdagan siya ng bagong uh, layer ng crust, yung kulay green, na imagine nyo ba? Okay? This one becomes denser or heavier than this plate. Tama po. Again, ito, nadagdagan ng bagong layer. Ito, nadagdagan siya ng bagong layer na. So, kung nadagdagan siya ng bagong layer, this, one's, uh, this one becomes heavier than the other plate. Okay? So, before we continue, ang tawag po natin dun sa paghihiwalay ng plate dito sa portion na to, yung kanina, di ba naghiwalay sila dito? That is what we call a ridge push. Okay? So, yung bitak dito, tapos lumalabas yung mga materials mo dito, uh, tinutulak nila yung plates in separate way. So, ito na ngayon yung tinatawag natin na ridge push. Yung pagtulak ng dalawang plates in different directions. And that, that is where your divergent plates or divergent boundaries come from. Okay? So, yung upward at yung sideward movement, pataas, tapos sideward. O, di ba? Parang kung nasa'yo dito. Pataas, tapos sideward. Okay, so hinihiwalay niya yung mga plate boundaries natin. So we call that a ridge push, therefore forming your divergent boundaries. Nakukuha po. I need response. Nakukuha po. Apo, ma'am. Apo. Apo, ma'am. Pag hindi nakukuha, you just tell me, ha? Sabi niyo, ma'am, nalay dito ako or ulitin po natin. Okay? So, punta tayo ulit doon sa kanina. No? Since ito, itong uh, isa ay naging mas mabigat kumpara doon sa isang plate. Punta tayo dito. Yan. So, itong may green, mas mabigat na siya. Kasi, itong green, mas mabigat na kasi nadagdagan na yung ating uh, layer ng crust. Kumpara dito sa isang plate na nandito sa gilid. Okay? So, what happened? Uh, what happens kapag ka ganun, mas mabigat yung isa kumpara sa isa? Of course, this one, etong nandito sa right ni ma'am, eventually will be subducted. Okay? Below this uh, plate. Ito mas mabigat kasi eh. So siya, may tendency siya na mag-move downwards. Therefore, being subducted by the other plate. So, ano yung nagkakos yung subduction na yon Tingnan nyo tong blue na arrow. Kanina, yung upward at sideward nagkos ng divergence. Ito namang downward movement, itong blue na arrow dito. What is what causes your? Anong type ng boundary? Anong type ng boundary? Convergent. Convergent po. So, this one is a convergent boundary. Okay, so ito, since mabigat siya, it has the tendency of moving downwards also. Okay? Dahil dito sa movement ng convection. Okay? So that is, again, uh, subducting one plate to another. Therefore, forming your uh, convergent boundaries. In this case, itong force naman na ito, this is what we call your... So kanina, kung tawag natin doon sa, ridge, uh, doon sa upward and sideward is a ridge push, this downward force, uh, which actually subducts one plate to another, is what we call your slab pull. Okay? Para kung baga yung ano, kung baga ay yung sabi sa description sa module mo, para daw bagang tablecloth na 
pag hinigit mo siya, madadala lahat ng laman, parang ganun, or lahat ng nasa ibabaw ng lamusa. So that is what happens in a slab pool. So ito ay napupush, uh, or na, uh, yung ating plate ay nahihila pa baba due to its weight. Therefore, uh, subducting this plate to another. Okay po. Naintindihan po natin yung slab pool. So, dun, ganun nangyayari yung ating divergence and convergence. So, it occurs anywhere, okay, across the Earth's surface, okay? Since yung ating, man, uh, yung ating convection, hindi lang naman siya nangyayari in one area. It actually occurs in different places or in different uh uh, portions of your mantle. So, ganun yung nagiging itsura niya. Kung naalala niyo yung discussion natin last time on uh, yung GIF natin last time. So, that is actually what happens in your um, uh, ang tawag dito? Convection. And then how your uh, plates or uh, crust are being uh, pulled or pushed. Okay? Forming the different boundaries. Okay, so that is your um, the causes of plate movement. So let us now look at how are we going to answer yung ating um, activity last time. Ba't ako nag -left? Ayun. Okay, so we have discussed already yung different um yung different uh, forces okay that causes yung in yung plate uh, movement so dito naman sa activity natin tingnan natin so actually yung activity kasi medyo minodify ko siya instead of answering all other activities there na ma masalimuot okay ito na lang yung pinasagutan ko so, ito yung uh, activity na to will help you discuss or explain, okay? So, what happens in plate movement? So, for number one, you're asked to uh, identify the three forces that are believed to drive the plate movement. Sige, for a bonus, what are those three uh, forces? Good for those who are here. May sagot na agad sa number one. Ano-ano daw yung mga forces na discuss natin kanina that which causes the plate movement? There are three. Give me one. Anyone? Wala kayong natutunan na forces kanina. Nakamute ka, Luigi. Mamayon po ba yung ano, yung ridge push tsaka slab pull? Okay, so we have ridge push, slab pull. Ano yung pangatlo? Ayun pang pinaka nakalimutan. Ayun ang pinaka ano, pinaka prominent sa kanila. Pinagmumula ng lahat. Circular motion. Circular motion or specifically what we call that circular motion. Marami kasi circular motion. Yung convection. That is convection. Okay, so the three forces which causes plate movement are, again, number one is your convection. Number two is your ridge push, so yung upward and sideward movements. And then you have there your slab pull, that is yung downward movement. Okay, caused by the downward movement. So ayun na yun. Okay, and then for uh, yung sa letter B, you are asked to read article 1 of page 33. So technically, what I have discussed is already article 1. Kung ano yung nakasulat sa Article 1, ayun lang din yung diniscuss ko sa inyo together with the illustration. So, you have to answer the given uh, questions or fill in the blanks. May mga part na wala namang tanong, pero you just have to read it kasi ito yung parang pinakakompletong process. You'll understand the process of co uh, the cause of plate movement if you know these processes or steps. Okay? So, of course, you have origin of convection. So, alam na natin yan. And then movements in the mantle. So, ang tanong sa inyo is what happens to the rocks when heated? So, alam nyo na yun. Dapat, we are referring here to describe the uh, density and direction of the movement. So, ayun lang yung answer. Very brief lang yung hinihingi ko. Hindi nyo kailangan kopyahin yung buong sentences. What happens to the molten rocks when they cool down? So, ganun ulit yung density at saka yung direction ng movement. This will create a repeating pattern of circular movement in the mantle called Convection. So, describe lang din. And then for letter D, 
less dense rising materials produces what kind of forces? So, yung pataas at patagilid. May <laughs> sagot. <laughs> okay, yung less dense materials. O, oh, ano yung kalasi ng forces na po form nila? And then, for number three, ganun, ano naman yung nangyayari dun sa plates? So, for question A, what happens to the lithosphere as upward and si sideward movement or sideward forces are produced? What plate boundaries are produced? So, ayun lang din yun. What are the effects of the downward movement? So, kanina yung upward ang tinatanong sa letter A. Sa letter B, ano naman daw yung sa downward movement? So, number four, you are given with the definition of slab pool. Please refer to the GIF I'll be sending to your group. So, I'll be sending that although meron tayo din sa PowerPoint. And then for part C and part D, ito na yung separate na activity. So, for letter C, answer the reflection question on page 34. Write a 3 to 5 sentence paragraph for your answer. For this part, you are asked, or the question would be, what would happen now if plates are not moving? Okay, so in your own idea, in your own uh, imagination, okay, with the understanding of the causes of the plate movement and the effects or the results, what do you think will happen kung hindi nag-move yung ating plates? And then lastly, on number uh, letter D, you have to answer learning task 2 on page 37. So these are actually parang summative or uh, short quiz. Multiple choice of what you have learned okay, about the causes of plate movement. So parang 1 to 10 lang. Okay po, questions?